In this video, I'm going to show you how to install DevTest Server in a Linux environment. Now, if you're installing on Windows or OS X, there is still benefit for you in this video. The install wizard is pretty much the same for all operating systems. But this video does highlight some of the aspects of the install that are unique to Linux. If you're installing just the workstation component, there's another video available specifically for that, and that video is Windows-based. I should also note that this video just covers the install. If you need help downloading the installer, there is another video for that as well. And there are detailed steps for all of these tasks in the DevTest documentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about installing DevTest Server. Now I've already downloaded my installation files, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. And you can see the DevTest Demo Server zip and the DevTest Linux 64-bit installer file. You can also see the license file that I got directly from CA. Now this is the license file that you need to use on the machine where DevTest is being installed. If you don't have a license file, there's information about how to get one in the DevTest documentation. And if you have a profile license agreement, you won't actually need this file. Now these two files are the original files that I downloaded earlier from CA support and then unzipped to get the files that you see. And I'll also point out that the install file has execute privileges, which is important. So to run the installer in GUI mode, I'm going to type the following command. And if I press enter here, I'll bring up the install wizard and go through the installation, which is what I'm going to do. Now, if you prefer to install in command line mode, just add a dash C to the command. But like I said, I'm going to install this in GUI mode. So let's go ahead and run the installer. The first screen in the installer is the welcome page that shows you which version of DevTest you're about to install. So I can just click Next. The next screen is the license agreement. So read through the agreement and scroll down to the bottom. And once you're at the bottom of the page, you can click I accept the terms of the agreement and click Next. And now you're prompted to select the components that you want to install. I'm installing DevTest Server, which also includes a copy of Workstation. So leaving Server selected installs all DevTest components, and I'm ready to click Next. In this screen, I can select my installation directory, and I'm going to accept the default directory. I should also point out that if you're upgrading from an older shared install, at this point you'll also be prompted to enter the path and folder name for your data directory. But in this screen, I'm prompted to decide whether to install Identity and Access Manager or connect to an existing one. So IAM controls all of the authentication for DevTest, and typically you would install one IAM for your DevTest environment and then point all of your other instances to that single Identity and Access Manager. You only install multiple instances if you need to manage the authentication for each registry in your environment separately. And there's a lot of information about this feature in the DevTest documentation. I'm installing a new instance of DevTest, so I'm going to install a new IAM. And now you're prompted to select the type of database that you want to use with your user management and Identity and Access Manager. For this video, I'm going to accept the default of an embedded database, but typically you would select the type of external database that you want to use, and then enter the configuration details for that database. But like I said, I'm going to select an embedded database. At this point, I have to specify whether I'm installing a new enterprise dashboard or if I'm connecting to an existing one. You can only have one enterprise dashboard in your environment, and then all other instances of DevTest point to that single dashboard. For example, if I'm installing a remote simulator server or VSE, I would just connect to the dashboard from my original DevTest install by entering the URL for that dashboard. I'm actually installing a completely new instance of DevTest here, so I'm going to install a new dashboard. And that means I have another option to select here. So I can choose whether I'm using a Broadcom Subscription Portfolio License Agreement, or PLA, or an actual license file. If I select the PLA option, then I'll also need to activate the product. So let me just show you what that looks like. And this screen doesn't display if I choose to use a license file or to connect to an existing dashboard. But here I can enter my company domain and my site ID. And if you don't know your site ID and need help finding it, you can click this link here. 
You can also enter an internal identifier if you want to assign some kind of ID to the usage data for this instance for your own tracking purposes, but this is an optional field. But sending usage data telemetry is required for a PLA, and by default, port 443 is used for sending usage data. If that port isn't available, you can enter a proxy URI and the associated username and password. When all of your activation data for your PLA is correct, you can go ahead and click Next. But I'm actually going to use a license file for this demo, so I'm going to go back and then select that option and specify the path to the license file that I showed you earlier. So next up I have to decide whether to install the demo server. So demo server provides a convenient environment for verifying the installation and it provides useful sample projects. So I definitely want to install this. So I just make sure that the path to the demo server zip file is correct and I'm ready to click next. You also have the option to create sim links, which I would like to do. So I'm going to leave that selected. And then you can choose whether or not to create desktop icons. I'm going to leave that selected too. Now all my options are selected and I'm ready to start the actual install. And to do that, I just click install. So we'll go ahead and give that a few minutes to complete here. I'm going to speed it up for the purposes of this demo. But once your install is complete, this screen provides some important information about your new install. So read through this information and click Next. And then this is the final screen that indicates your installation is complete. And now you can just click Finish. And if I zoom out a bit, you can see the icons that were created as part of the install. And that pretty much wraps up installing DevTest Server. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for viewing it. This concludes installing DevTest Server on Linux.